Hello everybody, this is Dark Geese and I'm coming from the finished Geese Tower, as you see. I have the nice touch on the tiles and my HDTV and other stuff. And I just want to you know, use a little of your time today to talk about a couple of things. That um, Just go over a couple of things, give you a quick update like I normally do. Um, just first off, I want to talk about Raging Storm Minnesota. Um, the tournament is going to happen on the 16th or 17th and uh, we're finalizing the venue right now. So as soon as we finalize the venue... Um, I'll let you know tomorrow uh, what it's going to be, and we'll go from there. But now, uh, I've had some family problems going on this week, and I just found about it. Uh, my mother's in the hospital, so I'm not going to be able to go. And um, I'll uh, let y'all know later how things are. But um, I won't be able to make it, but I encourage you guys to come out because, you know, this will determine whether we're going to do stuff in the future. And um, that's basically about the Minnesota tournament. Also, um, we're taking things step by step right now uh, as far as tournaments. So, um, we'll definitely update you as we will about what's going on, but, you know, we're taking things step by step, and if you've, you know, seen the Cypher Next stuff on the forums, I've explained why a lot of that's happening, and so if you haven't, I encourage you to read it, but, um, I explained on Cypher Next why we're taking things step by step, so, yeah, we do have a tournament plan on July for WARS, but, you know, we're going to take it step by step, and, um, just make sure things go according, you know, according to plan, um, so, and, yeah, the tournament, um, and, um, I'm trying to think, what is it? The one in April this weekend, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm going to get money to those players uh, on April 11th. I'm going to get some money, send some money out to them and help sponsor them. Because, you know, right now things aren't going exactly as we planned them out. So we're just having to make some adjustments. But that's really it. Um, now let's talk about Rage Storm SoCal. Um, we're going to push that back to another date because, like I say, things are not going as smoothly as planned. So we've got I've got to make some adjustments with that. But um, it's definitely going to happen. But I'll let you all know. And um, right now, I'm sure if y'all, some of you've heard, but the Elite Arena has been shut down. It's closed. Um, so we've got, we've got to figure out, you know, for summer showdown, if we want to do that in June, or uh, whether we just want to cancel that and folk put everything on Raging Storm SoCal. I mean, I might have to think some stuff through. I don't know. So um, we'll see. I mean, we'll see what goes on. Um, but yeah, yes, I know about KF13 and all that stuff, and uh, you know, we'll we'll try to figure. You know, depending on the release date of KF13. You know, how we're going to incorporate that and everything. But uh, next thing I was going to talk about really quickly, like I say, it's just a quick update, guys. Is I found around 13, and, you know, like I said, I couldn't be there. I had too much work to do. But um, I'm going to just, you know, make this. I'm going to just cut it to the to the plank. You know, I'm going to just cut point blank. Uh, one guy was asking me, what do I think about Justin winning final round or KOF? And, you know, I'm going to be quite frank. I told him, you know, congratulations to Justin Wong for winning it and all. But uh, I'm going to be up front. Uh, I know, and a lot of people already know that, with the exception of real bout and probably semi showdown, the competition, you know, maybe even little little Garou, maybe you know, probably Remark of the Wolves. But other than that, the competition in uh, the final round is in, is lacking. So in KOF, the competition is lacking in final round. So just the one winning KOF doesn't really mean anything to me. That's great and all, but uh, we've been down this road before. Um, just the one will do is normally money match met threads, and he'll challenge you know people out who oh, accept money matches and everything, anything you know what you want. And uh, I'll come in there, and I'll post 20-something SNK games for the money match, Justin Wong in, and he'll only pick one. So he'll only say, I'll money match you in one game, which is, you know, NGBC, but he won't money match any of the other ones. But he'll, he'll money match you guys in these games because he knows y'all are not going to beat him, which that's once again. I mean, you know, Justin's really good at the games he's, he focuses on, he's really strong at, but the SNK games overall, the... Uh, I can't say he's super really strong in it myself. I can't say that. It's just the, his, the competition around him isn't that good. And he knows that. And he's even said it himself. And that's just how it is. The competition around him is very lacking. I know this is because I've been traveling around for so long. The strongest competition I've seen is in California. People come from California. That's a strong, in America at least. That's how it is. Everything else is at least a lot to be desired. And that's just how it is. And I've you know talked about that before. So if Justin Wong wants to play me in, in KOF twelve, I'll be more than happy to play him. I'll play him for a two, three hundred dollar money match in KOF twelve. I'll be more than happy to play him in that. Or whatever game you want if it wasn't KOF twelve. I'll money match him for two hundred dollars plus in KOF twelve if you know if he wants to do that. But you know, Justin knows where to where to he knows how to find me and he's he's smart. Justin Wong's a smart guy, so he probably won't money match me in KOF. But just step by you know, that's just uh, what's going on. Um, I, I just want to, you know, give this quick update. Um, probably be playing with some people real soon, but I'm just, you know, rearranging things, planning the tournaments and stuff like that, and doing the best I can with the situation that's been at hand. But um, that's really about it, guys. You'll probably get some videos before long. 
just up uploading stuff. And I just want to get all that quick update, and that's you know really about it. Um, like I said, I hope you all have fun at Richmond, Minnesota. Hope it goes smoothly because that'll determine what else, what else we do. And uh, I'll keep y'all posted on anything else comes up. But that's about it, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.